Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install Adminer, Database Administration Tool, on Ubuntu 22.04. Before you get started, you must have, an Ubuntu 22.04 server. A non-root user with root or administrator privileges. A database server is installed on your machine. Before you start installing Adminer, run the following command to update and refresh your Ubuntu repository package index. Now you can check the Adminer package using the following command. Next, you can install the Adminer database administration tool using the following command. Input Y to confirm the installation and press Enter to continue, and the Adminer installation will begin. After the Adminer installation is finished, you will need to activate the default Apache 2 configuration for the Adminer. Run the following command. Next, check and verify the Apache 2 configuration using the following command. Then, restart the Apache 2 service to apply new changes. Now you can access it via your web browser with the default URL path slash Adminer and you should get the login page of the Adminer Database Administration Tool. The default Adminer installation includes the Apache 2 config file that can be used to set up your Adminer Database Administration Tool on your server. Now, edit this file by using the following command. At the top of the line, you can see the option which defines the default URL path of Adminer. In the demo, we will change the default URL path to the custom path by using the following configuration. Save and close the file when you are done. Next, run the following command to check and verify the Apache 2 configuration. If you get an output message such as syntax OK, your Apache 2 configuration is correct. Restart the Apache 2 service to apply new changes by using the following command. And now, you can visit your Adminer installation on the new URL path. And you should get the login page of the Adminer Database Administration Tool. After changing the default path URL installation, it's time to add the basic authentication to the Adminer using the Apache 2 module basic auth. Run the following command to create a new user file for the Apache basic authentication. In this example, you will define the new user for the Apache Basic Authentication as dbadmin. Next, edit the configuration using the following command. Add the following configuration to the file. Save and close the file when you are done. Now run the following command to check and verify the Apache configuration file. Then, restart the Apache 2 service to apply new changes. And now, back to your web browser and visit your Adminer URL installation. You should be prompted for the Apache Basic Authentication before you get the Adminer login page. Input the user DB admin and the password, then click Login. And you should get the Adminer login page. In this example, we will use the Maria DB database on a different server. So, you will need to set up database details such as username and password for non-local host. Before you create a new MariaDB user, you will need to set up the MariaDB to be running on the private IP address, which can be set up via the MariaDB configuration. Edit the MariaDB config file by using the following command. Change the default address to the MariaDB server private IP. In this example, the IP address of the MariaDB server will be changed to 0.0.0.0 so that all IPs have access. Save and close the file when you are done. Now run the following command to restart the MariaDB service and apply new changes. Next, log into your MariaDB server and run the following command. Now run the following MariaDB queries to create a new user and password for your MariaDB server. Next, 
Run the following queries to check and verify the privileges of the user. Then, type quit to exit from the MariaDB shell. After that, verify the list of UFW rules using the below command. And you should see the new rule for MariaDB access on port 3360 TCP is available on the UFW firewall. After setting up the database user on your system, it's time to connect to the database server from the admin or database administration tool. On the admin or login page, input details database host, username, and password. Then, click the login button to log in. After logging in, you can now manage your database from the admin or dashboard. Also, you will notice the database version and the user that you are currently using to connect to the server. Congratulations! You have now successfully installed the admin or database administration tool on Ubuntu 22.04.